Well, this night in WCW is also very well known for another reason. Uh, after you injured Sting and prevented him from a title shot against Vader, Ron Simmons would win a raffle to take on Vader and would win the WCW world title, becoming the first African-American world champion. So, I mean, just an awesome historic moment here, Jake. What did you think of Ron Simmons getting this huge opportunity uh, on such a big stage? I thought it was great, man. It was, a, it was high time. He certainly well deserved it. You couldn't ask for a better, a better guy to put in that spot. Yes, I mean, a great, legitimate athlete. Uh, yeah. You know, the the clip that night of him slamming Vader. You know, Vader is whatever. He's pushing four hundred, more than four hundred. Yeah. And Ron, Ron just picks him up like he's a child. Yeah. Yeah, just a, a yeah, freak he was, athlete. He was a, he was a solid four fifty. Yep, and Ron, no problem, hoists him right yep. up, turns him over, and uh, yeah, just a just an incredible athlete. Ron, you know, I, I I've heard Jr. say that Ron, uh, his biggest downfall at this point was inexperience, and that that kind yeah. of hampered him. Uh, were you confident that he would have success after this win? I I knew he'd have success, but I didn't know how much success he was going to have. Okay, you know, because it's all about who they put you with. You know, it really is. And uh, I don't remember who they wound up putting him with. I know that I, I believe he continued to work with Vader. Um, well, that's not good. No, <laughs> and he would work with Lex Luger. So his, maybe he needed somebody with a little bit more experience. Yeah, uh, you know, whether it be Arn or myself or whoever, but he would have grown more. <laughs> 